concerns. So uh, it's not only valuable to have you as my audience, and I mean it's Thanksgiving, right? So I'm giving thanks. I'm giving thanks for for um, all the things that happened because of our interaction, yours and mine. Um, a couple of other housekeeping details. I just want to let you know um, that we are offering a 10% uh, discount on anything you order tonight between now and midnight Eastern Standard Time. So you have four hours. Um, that is a 10% discount, which is uh, accessible by coupon code. Okay, you need to put in the coupon code. And the coupon code is TELECON1120. So when you're checking out at the checkout um, uh, screen, put in where it says coupon code, put in TELECON1120. So that's T-E-L-E-C-O-N-1120. And I believe we also might have sent that to your email addresses as well. Um, but uh, just so you have it, telecon 1120. Uh, we also are offering as part of this, in addition to the 10% uh, discount, free domestic shipping. So if you're in the United States, Alaska, and Hawaii included, we are offering free shipping on anything that you buy during the teleconference or afterwards. So um, that's just a little way of me giving thanks to you for your participation. Uh, and it makes it special for you folks because nobody else is getting this. Uh, there's also something really, really interesting uh, that I want to share with you um, as we move through this. And that is, um, I had someone email me and say, you know, Doc, you, you, you mentioned this teleconference as far back as uh, September, and it's now almost December, and it takes you so long. Why did it take you so long? And uh, I'm not sure if this is the same person that did this last year, but I got one last year. Um, I had promised everybody that I had met out at David Wolf's event, uh, the Longevity Now conference in May of last year, that we would do a, a free teleseminar to go over some values um, that we'd obtained specifically on omega-3 and omega-6 ratios. And that teleconference uh, was held in late August. And um, there were a few people complaining, well, why does it take so long? In that case, it took that long for us to get as many people as we could to actually process the tests. Not everybody do their tests. In this case, I have a really, really interesting scenario for you. Um, as some of you know, I uh, was employed by TA Sciences between uh, 2009 and 2010. TA Sciences is a company that makes TA65. Um, and I was employed as a chief medical education officer. It was my job uh, to uh, educate physicians on telomeres and uh, telomerase and telomerase activators and, of course, TA65. Um, they chose me because I was one of the original people on it and uh, knew a lot about it, obviously. So I wrote the doctor's manual for it, uh, the original manual. It may have been changed since that time, but I wrote the original manual and uh, did a lot of lectures, probably did some of the first uh, telomere and telomerase activation lectures ever given at the uh, A4M and AMMG conferences. Those are the two main uh, anti-aging and regenerative medicine conferences. So um, I've remained cordial with those folks, and of course I've remained with the product uh, ever since then, um, since I originally started, never got off it. And I've detailed um, the benefits in terms of uh, the extension of my telomeres um, in excruciating detail, and emails and blogs. Uh, I've used three different technologies, the uh, HDQ fish, the uh, the Flowfish and the um, qPCR technologies uh, to demonstrate in each and every possible way that is commercially available uh, that my telomeres are indeed getting longer and longer and longer. So um, one of the things that came out of the questions, you know, we were asking you about TA65 and do you know it and do you take it, etc. A lot of you are on it. It was gratifying to see that a lot of the people who responded and many, many of the people who are on this telecon um, are actually um, on TA65, but the single most common response that we got from people who are not on it uh, was that the question was, okay, well, why not? And they said, price is too expensive. I'd love to be on it, but it's too expensive. Um, so, um, you know, I'm not insensitive to your needs, but I don't control the price points of this. This is not my company. Uh, however, I, I do know people there, and we had long discussions over the past several months. And interestingly enough, uh, very recently, as a matter of fact, within the past week or so, TA Sciences has released a low-dose 30-count um, TA65 product. So for those of you who have said that price is the issue and you really can't afford it, 
Um, there is now a, a low dose, uh, it's 100 units, which is about, oh, what is that, maybe 38% of the dosage in the usual TS-65, but it was chosen because in the labs of Bill Andrews and Cal Harley, this was the lowest dose that activated telomerase. And it's a 30 count, so it's, it's a one month supply. Um, for those of you who don't know or don't know otherwise, TA is normally supplied in 250 uh, units, not 100. This is 100 units. Um, so normally it's 250. Uh, that's the standard dose, and it's 90 capsules. Um, TA Sciences did offer a uh, 250 unit 30 count. But they stopped making it because it wasn't selling very well. So they just continued with a 9 count, and then just recently, and I like to think we had a lot to do with this because we discussed this with them, um, how can we get these people who are on the fence to, to actually uh, take the plunge and enjoy, start enjoying the benefits of this amazing product? And the answer is, well, we have to come up with a lower price. The only way to do that is to lower the dose, and this is the lowest dose that has been shown to be effective. Now, effective where? That's important, okay? Effective in human cell cultures. Okay, this is uh, very, very difficult to test the efficacy in human beings other than my telomere length. And since this is a new product, we don't have any data on that. So if you're already on the high dose the way I am, or medium dose, or even if you're just taking one 250 unit a day, don't stop it and buy this and expect it to be the same. It's not. But if you're one of the many, many people who said, you know, Doc, I would try it, but it's it's uh, uh, too expensive. Uh, we, we we thought of you, we did our best, and guess what, they listened. So this product is retailing for 100 bucks. If you use your coupon code, and once again, the coupon code is TELECON1120, that's T-E-L-E-C-O-N-1120, you can get a 10% discount and free domestic shipping, which brings the total cost of this product to $90, which makes it cheaper than any of the other products out there that are uh, marketed in the telomerase arena. And I will remind you that TA65 is the only product that has any human data. Um, so uh, when comparing it and looking at, at uh, the other products out there, keep that in mind. Okay, um, those are some of the big announcements. There are a couple other announcements. Is a little bit later uh, in this, we're going to announce the, the winners. Uh, two things we're giving away. Uh, we're giving away another bottle of Ultra 85. Um, I'm not sure if Larry Rodenberg is on the call now, but Larry, if you're out there, again, thank you for your participation in the contest. Larry was our contest winner, and uh, he got the Ultra 85. Uh, we're also giving away a bottle of this new low-dose uh, uh, TA-65. Um, we, we we're choosing those uh, uh, people at random, and then um, um, we'll announce that probably somewhere in the middle, so these people are still joining. Um, and also, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll put that coupon code up on the screen at the end of the presentation, so you'll have it there as well. But one more time, Telcon 1120. And the, this, the lowest dose product, new new product available. I don't know how long they're going to make it. We only have you know a limited supply of it at this point in time. Um, and I think probably uh, we might be able to test audience to see whether people are actually going to you know put their money where their mouth is and say if it was cheaper, I'd buy it. So. Here's your chance, folks. Uh, I don't know how much longer you know they're going to give it to me. Um, I like to think that we were the ones that got this made. I can't promise you that that is the case. Okay, so uh, that's all the housekeeping issues. Once again, happy Thanksgiving to everybody, and uh, I really, really appreciate your participation. Now, a couple other things with the, with the questions. Uh, these are just sort of generalizations. You folks are a lot like me in that you're students of anti-aging and regenerative medicine. Many of you are already well and you want to get weller, you want to get healthier. And many of you have some issues you want to solve and you want to be healthy uh, as possibly can. Most of you are very interested in living long, healthy lives, but of the two, longevity versus health, obviously health is much more important. So we're all on the same page there. Um, we asked you who else you get your information from and where else you buy your supplements. And um, I wasn't surprised to see that most of you have uh, uh, other sources as well as me, which you know is, is normal and expected. Some of you are hardcore Dr. Davis fans. Thank you very much. Um, I appreciate that. But I also understand the reality of the situation. And uh, just like you, I, I go out and I listen to all kinds of different people, uh, at least once. <laughs> I don't always keep listening to them. But I had a laugh. Um, some of the folks uh, that were mentioned out there were, were uh, Andrew Weil. Uh, and Andrew, I mean, God bless Andrew. Uh, Andrew 
has been around forever, um, and you know I have nothing but nice things to say about Andrew because I think he really was a pioneer in his day. But I mean, please, when you look at Andrew and you look at me, please don't compare me to Andrew. Um, some of the other folks uh, were, were also predictable. Um, the, the usual suspects I, I generally refer them to, uh, refer to them as. But there's something I want to tell you. Um, uh, this is kind of the difference between me and them. I, uh, I met most of these people. I met the heads and the presidents of the corporations and the main doctors. And uh, there's a couple things you should know. Uh, and again, I'm not trying to sway you away from anybody. If you're getting valuable information, by all means, stick with it. But a lot of the people that you folks commonly list are actually owned by teleseminar companies. I'm sorry, not teleseminar companies, email companies. Uh, people who own marketing companies. Um, and they own a stable of doctors. And some of you get information from two or three different doctors every couple of weeks. And I don't know if you've ever wondered why that happens. It's because they're all part of a stable. So these people are, uh, are hired uh, to become the faces of this company. And the company is behind what's being said and told, not the doctors themselves. You should know that. The other thing I want to tell you is I attend and frequently lecture at uh, and speak at anti-aging and regenerative conferences all over the world, including the two biggest ones I mentioned, the A4M, AMMG, and several others. Um, I work at a stem cell clinic in Guadalajara, Mexico, that's headquartered in uh, Costa Mesa, California. Um, I have never, ever seen any of the folks that you list as your sources at any of these conferences, ever, not ever. Um, now, that doesn't necessarily mean they don't know what they're doing, but what it does tell me is they're not interacting with with their scientific peers. Um, so just keep that in mind um, when you choose who you listen to. Uh, someone mentioned Tim Ferriss. Now, Tim, I don't know if you know who Tim Ferriss is, but Tim has written several best-selling books on um, the four-hour work week and the four-hour body. And um, Tim is not a doctor. He usually says that once in his book. Uh, I, I know in the four-hour body, which is a huge tome, extremely well-written book, although I don't agree with a lot of what Tim has in there. It's extremely well written. It's very compelling, and it's hard to put it down. But um, one thing that, that Tim and I do have in common is uh, in his book, The Four Hour Work Week, which was published um, several years after I created my current future as a supplement guru, anti-aging regenerative uh, medicine uh, specialist, uh, Tim said, do what you love and figure out a way to make it pay and make it finance. And I've done that, and you folks are part of that. So the, the cycle of, of what I do essentially is create products that work based on my experiences, give them to you, uh, you benefit, and then we have this wonderful bond of trust. So once again, I thank you very much. And uh, Tim and I do have that in common. We've managed to figure out a way to create our lifestyles uh, to be exactly uh, or allow us to pursue the thing that we're most passionate about. I wish that all for you, but I understand that you know, and, uh, staying young and healthy may not be as high a priority for you as it is for me, although I'm sure it's a very high priority or you wouldn't be here. All right, let's jump into um, our first uh, major discussion, which is of the ketogenic diet. So um, Patrick, if you would go ahead and put the next slide up. Now, this I, I, I saw this show this slide. Some of you have seen this as well. This is the 2006-2014 slide. Now, why am I showing you this? Uh, I'm showing you this uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one is, uh, like I said, first of all, please don't compare me to Andrew Wow, especially based on this. Secondly, um, most of you would agree that uh, it's hard to tell where I'm younger and where I'm older. I'm actually uh, older. Uh, I'm in my mid-50s, going on 60s now, uh, in the green shorts. Uh, and I was uh, quite a bit younger, probably late, late 40s, 40 years. I don't remember exactly how old I was in, in jean shorts, but I was definitely uh, no, no older than 50 there. So it is possible to not age. It's possible to reverse the aging process. And it is possible. Somebody wrote in about, well, how do I get lean and strong? Uh, it was a 56-year-old man that had that question. Well, guess what? Guess what you're looking at in that picture? So um, that said, I didn't go on the ketogenic diet for this at all. I went on the ketogenic diet because I was extremely intrigued by a book that was written by a scientist at Boston University by the name of Thomas Seyfried. And Tom wrote this book called Cancer as a Metabolic Disease. And um, 
I read Tom's book last year because I was extremely frustrated with the whole um, politicization and glamorization and mediaization of cancer. Uh, it just seemed to me that you know we were we were fighting against cancer. We're wearing all kinds of ribbons. There's celebrities that get cancer, and they wonder on TV, "I've got cancer, and I'm going to fight this." And I mean, that's great to have a positive attitude. But when you look at what is really going on in cancer research, 1.5 trillion dollars has been spent. Okay, and I don't know about you, but we have not cured too many cancers. I haven't seen it. As a matter of fact, uh, we we still are using what I consider barbaric chemotherapy and radiation. Uh, and, and this just got to me. I just said, you know, I can't take this anymore. There's got to be a better answer. And I stumbled upon Dr. Seyfried's book, and I read it multiple times. And uh, that's why I went on the ketogenic diet, to see whether or not it was feasible to have um, this diet be part of, like, if I couldn't do it as a healthy, vibrant young person, I surely could not expect any of my... Uh, clients, patients, or family members who would have me get cancer to go on that diet, right? I mean, if, if I can't do it, they can't do it. Well, I went on it, and it was actually very easy for me to stay on it. Um, and it had incredible, uh, I think, health benefits, physique benefits, et cetera, et cetera. But I, I didn't go on it for that reason. That was just a you know, happy coincidence, if you will. Um, so please keep that in mind. There was a scientific reason, not an aesthetic reason. That said, we're going to get into a little bit in terms of the aesthetics a little bit later when we address the issue of of how to burn body fat. Uh, in terms of diets, many of you are on the ketogenic diet, and I presume that's why you're on tonight and why you signed up for the teleconference. Uh, a good portion of you are also paleo, uh, as you probably remember, some of you anyway. Um, back in the 2007, 8, 9 range, I was a pretty strict paleo uh, as well. Um, some of you are vegetarian and vegan. I've been both for short periods of time, and uh, David Wolf is one of my good friends. Um, so I'm extremely pleased to have you folks on board as well, and thank you. I presume you're here probably because of David's conference. Um, and um, I think, you know, we, we all have to find the eating patterns, eating habits that are most healthy for us. Uh, this one turns out to be extremely healthy for me. Uh, it also seems to resonate with my body. I don't know if it's going to resonate with yours or not, or if you're so motivated to do that. Now, interestingly enough, the, the picture with the blue jeans uh, on, the one that I'm, if you look carefully, even though I've got a six-pack, so there's still a little bit of body fat there. That was on paleo, okay? I didn't lose that extra percent of body fat. I was probably about 12% body fat in that picture. Uh, right now, in the green one, which was taken a little over a month ago, I'm probably hovering around um, 8 or 9%. Uh, could I get it lower? Sure, but why? You know, um, I'm in, you know, just pretty much enjoying what I eat uh, on the ketogenic diet. Uh, but again, let me remind you that the, the, the desire uh, for this diet came from the whole question of could I ask my cancer patients to be on that. And that's brought up a couple other issues. Tom and I have talked at length. Uh, I interviewed him for my upcoming book. And we spent a lot of time just about two weeks ago together in Las Vegas. We had a blast. He's a super guy, a lot of fun, and just I mean, talk about being fortunate enough to be able to be spoon-fed by, by world experts. I seem to just fall into that, and, and Tom was, was kind enough to give me hours of his time um, uh, and share his information with me. Uh, but we both feel very strongly that this is a cancer-preventative diet, uh, as well as, as something that might be used to treat cancer. So let me get into some specific questions that were um, asked about that. Someone wrote in on the blog and said, how can you expect somebody who's dying of cancer and losing weight and wasting away to be on this diet? Well, I understand that, and I understand why you would have reticence to do that, uh, because the concept is that nutrition is necessary to keep this person alive. The truth of the matter is, is that if you are at that stage of cancer, then nutrition is probably also just going to feed the cancer. There are many anecdotal things out there that say that people who have been diagnosed with these end-stage illnesses who decide to just go up and starve and say, the hell with this, I don't want this, I'm going to just not eat, actually live longer. So uh, the ketogenic diet is not a cancer curative, okay? It is another something to add to the armamentarium. But I think it's very, very quite possibly a simple, easy, uh, reasonable thing to do for cancer prevention. So let me jump into that a little bit. Um, uh, 
And again, no one knows because no one's run these huge randomized double-blind placebo-controlled studies that we have to do to actually say that for sure. However, the same biology that kills cancer cells, which is low blood sugar and high ketones, also seems to nip them in the bud. Um, people ask whether or not it's possible to do 18-hour fasts or a couple days of water fast or whatever. The bottom line is this. In order to kill cancer cells, what you need to achieve is uh, ketone levels probably above one, preferably in the two to three range, which we call nutritional ketosis, and blood sugars below, say, 50 or 40. Now, a lot of people will say, my God, I'll get hypoglycemic. And that's not true at all because your body uses the ketones as fuel. The key here is ketone bodies. You're not going to get, uh, if you go on a low-carb diet, you may look great and you may lose a significant amount of weight and feel better. And that's all wonderful. Um, but you're probably not, well, you're not going to be in ketosis and you're not going to have um, the benefits of the ketone bodies, which are uh, many. Uh, and we certainly believe, we, meaning Tom and I, certainly believe that uh, killing cancer cells or cells that are sick uh, is probably even a better uh, way of addressing this, uh, cells that could potentially become cancer cells. Uh, this, is, this is an important thing to do. Um, what about fasting? Well, fasting may put you into low-level ketosis. So, you know, you may get some ketone bodies when you wake up, so 18-hour fasting is certainly reasonable. I don't think it's going to be as effective as doing it for five to seven days. I don't mean fasting for five to seven days. I mean a ketogenic low-calorie diet for five to seven days. I think it's more effective. Um, but uh, the 18-hour um, fast has some benefits in that it, it stimulates the, the recycling of, of uh, cellular organelles called the mitochondria, which are the powerhouses in the cell. And that's a good thing. You don't want those things hanging around if they're sick. You may as well get rid of them and regenerate new ones. Uh, it does the same thing for other intracellular components. And those cells that are on the edge and, and beginning to fail, <coughs> excuse me, beginning to fail are, are also going to be victims of that 18-hour fast. Uh, so, it, you know, it's a step in the right direction. Again, my preferred approach to this is um, five to seven days of 300 calories, um, get yourself into solid ketosis, and get your blood sugars down below 50. Um, the lowest blood sugar I had during my uh, most recent uh, stint of this was uh, in the, uh, the low 40s, it was 42. And my ketone levels were quite high at that time. They were six. They don't need to be that high. That was a little extreme. But those of you who know me and know how I am, that shouldn't surprise you. Another question about this was, well, what about your cholesterol? You're eating all this fat. How can you pot? I mean, doesn't that make your cholesterol go through the roof? And a corollary question was, what about your omega-3 levels? Don't you have to take more omega-3s because you're eating all this saturated fat? Really good questions. Uh, so I thought I would share my cholesterol levels with you. Um, these were done on, um, let's see what the date is. These were done on August the 16th of this year. So, uh, you know, sort of smack dab in the middle of the whole ketogenic diet thing. Um, my total cholesterol was 183, which is considered good. My triglycerides were 57, which they should be low because of the fish oil alone. My HDL cholesterol was 93. Okay, now 93 is, let's just say this, uh, uh, good is considered above 39. So 93 is 39 in burst, which is really, really, really good. It's in the top 2 percentile. Um, the bad cholesterol was 79. So I have a higher good cholesterol. Then I have bad cholesterol. My estimated cardiac risk is below measurable. Uh, it's, it's less than 0 0.5, so it's essentially zero based on this. Um, and um, I did particle sizes with this for those of you who are interested. In every single one of the particle sizes were, were in the top uh, five, five percentile as far as being optimal. So the answer to this is no, this does not, does not adversely affect uh, cholesterol. It actually, this is the best cholesterol I've ever had in my life. So what am I doing? I'm eating fat and salt and all the stuff that I was told not to do, all the stuff that I told my patients not to do for years. And I have the best cholesterol profiles ever. Uh, my fasting insulin is also extremely low. There's something called the LPIR score, which is the uh, uh, insulin sensitivity score. And they stopped measuring below 27, minus below 25. 
optimal is below 45. So this is sort of the key, by the way, I think, to any healthy diet, whether you're vegan, vegetarian, paleo, or um, uh, ketogenic. Obviously, ketogenic does this de facto because you're managing your, your insulin levels. But if you can manage your insulin levels and keep them low, and you have a good macronutrients uh, makeup, in other words, you're, you're getting all the best nutrients you can by eating healthy foods, um, you're going to be fine, and, and you're going to get great numbers. Um, I would also remind you that carbohydrates are the only non-essential food group. You can live without carbohydrates or with an extremely low carbohydrate diet for a long, long time. You can live in ketosis forever, as far as we know, uh, and nothing bad will happen to you. Um, you cannot say the same of proteins or fats. You have a very limited amount of time, uh, and especially when you're dealing with the, the essential fatty acids like the omega-3s, EPA, and DHA, uh, your body can't make those. You've got to add those in the diet. And as you know from my emails and blogs, one of the things that happens is way below those. People don't get enough of those, not even close. And again, in reviewing the questions, a small percentage of you are on 3,000 to 6,000 milligrams a day. That's three or six capsules of my ultra 85. I would call that optimal. Um, and uh, some of you even went so far as to, to do the recommended ideal omega test and look at your ratios, which are little finger stick test. And you have great ratios, uh, especially on the six a day. Um, the rest of you, um, you know, you got to decide how important uh, having information is to you or having no information is to you. And I want to pass on something that I shared with Barry Sears, uh, who was at the most recent anti-aging conference. So kudos to Barry. Uh, Barry Sears, the Zone Diet Doctor, you may know him from that. Uh, written, se written several bestsellers. Um, Barry uh, is, is very much on board, uh, as you know, with fish oil is one of his mainstays. And uh, he's also a firm believer in ratios of omega-3 to omega-6. So it's gratifying to hear somebody else who's an expert in the field um, share my, my thoughts in, uh, on this. Um, so when I said I didn't see these people at my, at my conferences, uh, Barry Sears does come to these and, and does subject himself to peer review um, and is uh, one, of my, uh, one of my favorite competitors, if you want to call it. Okay, so that's primarily the, uh, the, the mainstay of what I have to say on the ketogenic diet. Next slide, please, uh, Pat. Um, and we'll get into it. And this is Tom Seyfried. Uh, Tom is 68 years old. We're having a great time there in, in uh, Las Vegas. At, uh, I can't even remember the name. I think it was called Sensei. It was an amazing restaurant. And uh, we talked a lot of science. And uh, this is what I do uh, some of the time uh, when I'm not running death races and uh, flying to Spain to talk to Maria Bosco or managing the clinic in Guadalajara. Um, I get to talk to people like Tom. So that's very, very cool. Um, so uh, back to housekeeping details for those of you who joined us. And there's uh, many more people who have uh, joined us now. Again, I apologize. I did not realize, and uh, President Obama did not tell me that he was speaking in. I apologize for uh, conflicting with his speech. Um, but we are having um, a 10% off until midnight tonight, 10% uh, with free domestic shipping. We have a coupon code for you. If you buy anything between now and midnight, you get 10% off. The coupon code is TELECOM1120. That's T-E-L-E-C-O-M-1120. Just put that in the coupon code box at checkout, and you'll get your 10% in your free shipping. Also, a reminder um, that we have this low-dose uh, TA65 that is brand spanking new. For those of you who decided you cannot or will not afford uh, the usual doses, uh, we like to think that TA Science has listened to us and created this product for, for those of you who say you would like to be on it, but it's too expensive. And if possible, can we go back to that slide and just put that link up again? Um, so it's, it's at the bottom of that slide. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, we have a very limited quantity. Uh, I don't know if they're planning on making this uh, permanently or not. Um, so I would take advantage of it while you can. Okay, Pat, uh, go back to the slide with Dr. Uh, yeah, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Seyfried and I. Uh, by the way, uh, we plan on doing more of these uh, teleconferences, and uh, I'm pretty sure that Dr. Seyfried uh, will, will be on one of them, uh, along with some very other, uh, well, with some other very interesting people. Okay, uh, I'm going to um, just announce the winners now of the two products. These are the free products, and we have your information, so we'll find you. Um, 
I'm just going to give this is actually an email uh, address uh, or assigned an email. The person who used Mail Klee, M A L E K L E E, is our Ultra 85 winner. Mail Klee, you won the bottle of uh, Ultra 85. And uh, Mr. McMarlin, uh, who uh, uh, also answered one of our questions, um, is the b winner of the uh, free bottle of 100 uh, units of TA65. Um, so hopefully both of you will enjoy those products and benefit from them. Uh, and we'll get those out to you. Um, OK, let's get uh, to the specific questions. Um, now, um, someone asked us about uh, Fukushima, which was a very interesting question. I believe we have a slide for that. Um, I'll be brief about this. As far as I know, we are the only um, supplement manufacturer that actually tests for background radiation. And this is a very valid question, not only because Fukushima uh, has caused some spread of radiation, but the Pacific Rim of Fire, which extends all the way from Australia, all the way up around uh, Japan and Alaska, uh, and down the California coast is an extremely um, uh, active area uh, for volcanic activity. And because of this volcanic activity, the background radiation of Pacific fish is actually higher than those in Atlantic fish. Uh, however, once you get below the Gulf of Baja, um, uh, that's no longer the case. Now, there's a map, which I apologize for not showing you, but there's a map of radiation spread. And uh, the Ultra 85 is sourced actually from freshwater, not seawater, freshwater in, in the Canadian Northwest. And uh, there's, there's no evidence that radiation has reached that. And the other, uh, the standard pharmaceutical grade fish oil comes from uh, Peruvian fisheries um, below the spread of uh, Fukushima. So we, we are not worried about it, and we do test for it. And uh, I'm not going to say it's zero, because there, there's no fish out there, even the one you buy in the store, that has zero radiation. If you dig a hole in your yard, you're going to get some background radiation. But it is vastly small, and it has stayed vastly small. We just ran another test batch. I believe we put the preliminary results up on the, on the site. Um, that was from probably a, a batch we created in September. And we do create these batches. These are made special order. These are not you know, pulled off a shelf somewhere. So they, they, we've got to give the order in way in advance, and they make it specially for us. And then we, we do what we do as far as the molecular distillation process after the fact. Um, so you're getting something that you can't get anywhere else, uh, but we do test for this. Um, I looked at a lot of the doses, and uh, I'm working on getting uh, or finding out what the current status of the omega-3, omega-6 ratio is, because last year it was very easy to get this test for you and to offer it on the internet and then to interact with you on the results. Um, the company decided to open an office, a main office in Brooklyn, New York, and New York has some very specific rules about blood being shipped in and shipped out. So I have to see what the status of that is. Um, but um, let's, uh, let's move on from the Fukushima issue to the next slide. OK, so this was a big one. Uh, how do I know if TA65 is doing anything? Well, there's, there's obviously two ways. Um, there is the physical benefits of it, which most people um, Really, this is where they're interested. Uh, there is a telomere test out there. Uh, I work with this company, so that's my disclaimer. I actually work uh, with LifeLength. Uh, this is Maria Blasco's company uh, in Spain. Uh, she created the HTQ fish technology, and I work with them. And um, uh, you know, so I'm gonna. I'm very familiar with that technology, and it is the only technology I would use right now to predict uh, and follow telomere length. So you can follow the effects of TS65 on your timeline. I would wait at least a year, probably longer. Um, I followed mine over a period of five years, and I test mine a little bit more frequently than the average person for hopefully obvious reasons. This is my field of expertise. I need to know what's going on. But I was able to document in myself and almost all, not all, but almost all of my uh, clients and customers uh, who have done this test that indeed the percentage of short telomeres goes down, their biologic age improves, and sometimes it just takes a little longer. Now, what people are really much more interested in is things like sex drive, energy, mental clarity, skin, looking younger. One of the big things we hear is people just tell me I look younger. So that's one way in which you might be able to tell. Now, you can't get this from a spouse because they see you every day. But somebody that you see maybe every couple of months, maybe some relatives that you travel to for Thanksgiving, these are the people that are going to tell you you're looking younger. And of course, how you feel. 
What's your energy level like? Are you getting fewer colds because this is an immune booster? Um, is your skin uh, looking better, fewer wrinkles, looking less? And again, I mean, you can see in the picture, uh, I do a lot of things, but TA65 is, is a big one that I've been doing for five years. And I'm a firm believer in the anti-aging benefits of it. Both the objective benefits, which are measured by telomere length, lightlength.com, there you see it, lifelength.com at the bottom. Uh, go to that website if you're interested in doing the test. And then um, all the other objective uh, things that we can measure, like cholesterol, blood pressure, etc. Those were done in human studies uh, that are published on PubMed, P-U-B-M-E-D, the type in TF65, you will see. Uh, those studies have been published in humans. Uh, again, the only telomerase activating or uh, telomerase effective substance that's been tested in human beings in clinical trials. This is why I stand by it, this is why I use it, and why I have a hard time recommending anything else as a telomerase activator. Now, let me say that there is definite benefit to slowing the aging process. And I believe that interrupting free radicals is a way to do that. And so, I take back some of the nasty things I said about some of the other products out there. There was one product in particular that uh, they actually ran a study with this company and it failed. It didn't show any telomerase activation. And to their credit, they very cleverly and sneakily backed off using those words. And now they say telomere support. And they did another study that showed that they affect some parameter of uh, free radical generation or, or free radical oxidation. And it was a human study. And so uh, if you can do that, you're probably doing something beneficial for the telomere. Uh, and, and you can market your product that way in my eyes without lying to people. Uh, that's, an, that's an honest way to do it. Uh, now, they didn't come out and say, hey, we failed the trial. But um, they at least changed their tune in terms of marketing. Um, so keep that in mind when you're making your choices. Um, OK, next slide, please. Um, Okay, this is not a good picture. I apologize. I've never mastered the iPhone, but actually, obviously, I didn't take this picture unless I have really long arms for the selfie. But this is Maria Blasco. Uh, I spent a lot of time with Maria over the past couple of years. She is, I think, the premier active telomere science, along with Jerry Shea uh, and some other people out there. Obviously, the Nobel laureates get a lot of press. But in terms of human longevity and, and looking at things like stem cells and telomeres and telomeres, Marie is the one, as far as I'm concerned, and uh, I've been very blessed to have uh, lots of access to Maria. So let's move on. Uh, the next question I have here is um, uh, from Richard T. Richard, uh, thanks again for being one of Dr. Dave's best. Um, and uh, I, I know you've been with us for a long time. Really appreciate it. And Richard's question is, how do I keep my heart and vascular system healthy, and how do I stay away from from coronary heart disease, uh, ED, which I presume is erectile dysfunction, and et cetera. So vascular disease. Well, if you want to cure vascular disease in most people, there's, there's a couple ways to do this. Number one, eat less. Okay? Uh, specifically, don't go to the buffet. Don't be a buffet molester. Eat smaller portions. What happens when you eat these big portions and supersize everything is you overload the liver's ability to process fat. And it's going to release and, and process what it can. It's either going to release it as triglycerides that are floating around, or it's going to release it as LDL cholesterol. Um, and that LDL cholesterol will wander around and find some place to be oxidized. High uh, oxygen areas that have a lot of flow and a lot of shear stress, like the coronary arteries and some of the big femur arteries in the aorta, are perfect places where there can be intimal damage that's damaged the lining of the vessel which then causes an inflammatory response. And part of the patch is oxidized LDL cholesterol. So uh, you know, if you don't have a lot of that stuff floating around, then if you are unfortunate enough to have shear stresses that are damaging your uh, vessels uh, because you're hypertensive or some other thing, um, you are a lot less likely to get that damage in the form of a plaque. The next thing is fix your omega-3, omega-6 ratios. Another discussion I have with Barry, I said, Barry, Barry Sears, this is, I tell my audience, um, the number one driver of inflammation in the human body is the omega-3, omega-6 ratio. Too high omega-6 is too low omega-3s. Do you agree with that? I didn't even give him a, a wiggle room. I said, yes, or no. And he said, yes, absolutely. So again, the thing that you can mitigate, the thing that you can fix, the thing that you can do that is going to change this milieu, that's going to change the oxidation levels in your body, that's going to change the inflammation in your body, and we now know 
um, ad nauseum that inflammation is really the cause of most of these vascular diseases and maybe uh, causes of neurodegenerative diseases and certainly plays a huge role in aging. So is fish oil a anti-aging molecule? Absolutely. And uh, again, this is the simplest and one of the lesser expensive ways to uh, solve your problem. Now, just keep in mind, if you buy crappy stuff, number one, you're going to have to take a lot more of it, and number two, you're going to get a lot more toxins and pollutants in it. So it's up to you what you put in your body. Um, we publish our, our results, including the radiation and everything else. Um, I won't put anything in my body that I, that I don't feel comfortable taking for the rest of my very long life. So keep that in mind when you're making your selections. But some omega-3 is always better than none. That much I will tell you. And the other thing that Barry Sears told me when I, you know, we were talking about stuff, he said, yeah, I think the biggest problem is dosage. People don't take enough. Um, so keep those things in mind. It's not just me saying this. Uh, you know, there's a lot of other things. Uh, Richard's second question was, how do I find out about the benefits of TA65? Well, I've written about this at noise, and this is actually the web page. Uh, it goes into the benefits. Um, the blogs go into the benefits. But essentially what we're trying to do is reset these biologic time clocks known as telomeres, or telomeres if you're from Canada. Um, these are the things that uh, are major determinants of when cells die, when they get sick. Uh, they are the major determinants of genomic stability, of mutations. They affect the mitochondria in terms of how the mitochondrial powerhouses are able to produce energy, the number of mutations they incur, their ability to reproduce all tied to telomere length and probably vice versa. So keeping these things healthy is a really good thing. And obviously, human studies uh, in terms of longevity are difficult to do because you have to have 80-some years to do them. Um, and it's always difficult to know how long a person's going to live when they're born. I hope you understand the logic of that. But um, you can do surrogate studies. Uh, you can uh, do them in animals. And uh, certainly, the health span has been improved with TA65. But there were not lifespan studies done with this product yet, only health span studies. And um, we, we do know that the, the mice are healthier uh, when they were sacrificed. They were sacrificed uh, sort of upper middle age. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. All right, let's go to the next slide. Um, and we'll move on to the next set of questions. Very interesting questions. Who am I? What are my credentials? What keeps me motivated? Well. I like that question because it tells me that somebody brand new was out there who never heard of me and wanted to know what, what, I, what I do. Well, I was born <laughs> as an internist, uh, and I'm going to be taking my boards again for the 15 millionth time. Not actually, it's only about the third or fourth time. Uh, I'm also board certified in anti-aging medicine by the A4M, and I uh, was one of the first recipients of the Age Management Medicine uh, certification by the American Medical Association. So I'm a bona fide doc. Uh, I retired from large clinical practice in 2004. I started a nutritional company based on my experiences with anti-aging medicine. I work um, as a consultant for uh, several companies, including uh, the telomere measurement companies uh, and other supplement companies, and of course our stem cell clinic in Guadalajara, Mexico. Uh, so I'm a stem cell guy, I'm a fish oil guy, I'm a telomere guy, and if you wrap those things into one big package, uh, you've got pretty much the bulk of what works to keep us young and healthy. Um, so what motivates me? Well, uh, the way I got started in this was my father. Uh, my father uh, was a family doc. I joined my dad uh, when I was fresh, newly minted doctor out of my residency. And my dad was 69, and I practiced medicine for another 10 years with my dad. He died at 79. And during those 10 years, I watched him get old. And I was studying anti-aging medicine, and we didn't actually have the board certification, so it took a little longer uh, for those things to roll around. But I knew what to do for my dad. And one of the things that would have helped him immensely was hormone replacement, but he refused that. Uh, he wasn't a big fish oil fan because he was one of the original fish oil users back in 1976 when the Orn Dyberg studies came out. And unfortunately, the only fish oil we could get then was very rancid. So we all took it for about, well, I took it for two weeks, and then when I told my dad, he said, what would you do with it? I said, when I stopped, it was making me burp. It was awful. Uh, I got heartburn. So I stopped mine after two days. So that experience never left him. So my father basically kind of was a fatalist in terms of, well, I'm just getting old, and that's the way it was. Um, but I believe strongly that had I uh, been able to, to convince him, get him to see things my way, I could have done 
and stuff for him um, that would have kept him around a lot longer and healthier. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to. And I do feel a certain amount of responsibility for that. And that is a major motivating factor because there are fathers and brothers and sisters and mothers out there who would benefit from this knowledge and would benefit from what we're doing, you and I, today and what you're taking um, and what we're exploring. Um, and, and if I can help you save those people in your lives, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do whatever, whatever is necessary to, to teach you how to become the teacher. As my sister often says, teach them how to fish, uh, and you won't have to continue to provide fish for them. So we're, I'm basically trying to teach you how to fish. Um, the other thing that motivates me, I live a lifestyle of anti-aging regenerative medicine. This is my life. This is my passion. I wake up every day. I read about it. I talk to scientists. I'm talking just to at least one PhD a day, at least one a day. Um, and I mean, I have just this incredible, fabulous ability to attract these people into my lives and benefit from them. And then they spoon feed me and I spoon feed you. And then I put it into clinical practice. That's the cool part is I get to test these things out. Right now it's primarily in Mexico because of the laws in the, in the United States. But we are really breaking some amazing barriers. Uh, and you're going to be hearing more about that. And we're going to be publishing some papers. and. Uh, so to all those people out there who say, well, he's just a clinician. He's not a scientist. Guess what? Guess what? When my name's up there on that paper with all those other scientists, you're going to have to eat your words. Not that I would do that to anybody, but anyway. Uh, so I'm, I'm extremely motivated. Now, I don't expect you to be as motivated as I am. I've arranged everything in my life for this. Okay? This is what I do. It's all I do. Well, pretty much all I do anyway. I mean, in between running death races and... Uh, but, but I mean, it's fun for me. People ask me, you know, well, you said, Tim Ferriss, do you do a four-hour work week? I don't think I work 10 minutes. I love what I do so much that the amount of time that I have to spend doing things that I don't enjoy and don't get something out of and don't want to share with you is really, really small. I mean, it's maybe a, a one-hour work week at most, and that's, you know, just doing the basic everyday stuff that everyone has to do. Unfortunately, I have a very competent team. Uh, that helps me uh, and allows me to do what I do best when they take care of the rest of the stuff. So um, how do you do what I do? Well, it's got to be a priority. Whatever level of priority it is for you, okay? What's the lowest priority? What's the lowest? Okay, if you're a couch potato and you lay around and do nothing but you take a big dose of fish oil, is that going to help you? You know what? Probably. Probably is. It's probably going to help you a lot more than you might think. Now, should you do all the other stuff that we wrote about at the Immortality Edge? Yes. Should you take a TA65 or some form of telomerase support pack, telomere edge packs, or whatever? Yes. Should you have vitamin D? Well, it's in the multivitamin, the monster multi, but yes. Um, so let's just go over it real quick. What, what are the, uh, the, you know, Dr. Dave lives on an island, and, and this is what you've got. It would be TA65, Ultra 85 Fish Oil, Monster Multi, CoQ. Uh, those would be the absolute, absolute, absolute basics of what I would take. Now, there's a lot of other good stuff I make and take, but you know, for those of you who are, want to know what the minimum is, that's it. Now, we also make a daily dose pack, and if you find that, and again, that's 10% off, and the, uh, the code is telecon1120, that's the coupon code, 10% um, off. The, the, the uh, Monster Multi is, and the daily dose pack that accompanies the Monster Multi, which is fish oil and cardio boost, is a phenomenal value. So. Again, if you really want to cut it down to bare, bare bones, that's it. But this is what keeps me motivated, getting younger. And the fact that my telomeres are 1,300 plus base pairs young, longer, and I'm 10 years biologically younger, and I look at it in those pictures, that I mean, you couldn't get better feedback than that. What's better than that, or what's almost as good as that, is hearing it and seeing it in my patients and you guys. That, that's really, really uh, what keeps me motivated. So you got to find your own motivations for this, and you got to find your own levels. Whatever level it is, find it and do it. The next question is about another website. Uh, Dr. Dave, it seems like there are always new websites coming that purport telomeres uh, uh, substances and telomere supplements. Uh, you mentioned one called Your Telomeres. Uh, what, what is the story with this site? Well, this is not my website. Uh, they are smart enough to actually have my stuff on it. So they're an affiliate. Um, now, they have affiliates with lots of other people, so I'm not their only affiliate, but this is a warehouse site. It's yourtelomeres.com, Y-O-U-R, telomeres, T-E-L-E-M-O, sorry, I'm going to respell that, T-E-L-O-M-E-R-E-S, yourtelomeres.com. 
Uh, and they sell all that other stuff, all the telomere support stuff, uh, you know, that, that I have become a little bit more lenient on because I do see the value in it, um, as well as some other interesting things. And uh, if, if I'm too sciencey for you, if I'm too hardcore for you, you, you would probably enjoy this site. Um, kudos to those people for filling a niche that, that, that needed to be filled. Okay. Um, lots of people ask about how to live longer, uh, how to fix mood disorders. Um, you know, again, omega-3s are really, really uh, critical, and they're going to help a lot. Uh, CoQ is also very, very critical. I would take three or 400 milligrams of CoQ a day. Uh, and remember that the mitochondria are uh, very, very critical for your uh, overall health. Um, everybody wants to live more healthy. In the past couple of years, I can tell you we've made gigantic strides. And that basic stuff I told you about, telomerase activation, omega-3s, and CoQ, that gets you a long way. That gets you a long way. So. Uh, but that's it. Now, read the Immortality Edge if you haven't, um, because it tells you specific lifestyle strategies. And uh, go ahead. Um, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, move on to some other things here. We've got some questions uh, coming in. Um, yeah, uh, I'll get to these. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to type in some questions, because we are getting near the end of these things. Um, go ahead and type them in, and I'll, I'll start uh, answering them directly. And I'll be back in two minutes. Okay, here we go. Um, let me just touch base here. We've got actually a lot of questions. Let me let me go down the uh, the. Um, who do you consider your biggest competitor, uh, Burdett? By the way, Burdett, first of all, thank you. I recognize your your name. Um, you've been with us forever, um, and thank you for being one of Dr. Day's uh, best. You know, uh, this is going to be a, a lame answer, uh, but I don't think I have any competitors, and I'll tell you what. Because, as I said, um, I don't see any of these guys that you're mentioning, uh, you and everybody else, at any of the conferences I go to. So until they come out and subject themselves to peer review, until they actually do physical research rather than just hawk products, and I don't have anything against hawking products. I mean, it's part of how I'm making it in between that and speaking engagements and, and consulting. but. The difference is essentially that I, I'm not owned by anybody, and I don't run, I mean, I do run a company, but I don't, frankly, probably do the best job of running a com company. It's not my priority. My priority is living long and healthy. So honestly, I don't think I have uh, any direct com competition. Um, there are some people who claim to do what I do, um, but again, uh, where are they? I don't see them. So. Um, Mark is asking, when it comes to TA65, do you have to cycle off it after 90 days? Uh, is there a feedback loop or uh, like a DHA or the hormone replacements? Originally, we we had the, the the original patent protocol had you going off it after 90 days, but no one does that anymore. It's probably still on the model, but none of us none of us do that. Um, TA65 is not really a hormone, although it does have some interesting. Um, hormonal um, similarities in terms of its biochemical structure, it's it's actually a sulpanogenin is the chemical kind of description of it. So, uh, but, but not a hormone, so no, you don't have to cycle. Um, Ralph, I'm sorry that you're having trouble getting on, I apologize. Um, 
So uh, Mark is also asking about the low dose uh, TA65. Patrick, can you put that uh, link up again, um, please? Um, thank you. Uh, and that's how you can get that. Again, I don't know how. It's not on the site. It's not on the site because I don't know how much of it we're going to be able to get. It's a brand new product. And essentially what I think is happening is they're letting us pilot it because we were the people that came and said, hey, you know, I, I had this contest. One of the questions was this. Do you realize that there's a lot of people out there who want to try it but can't afford it or won't afford it or some mixture of both? Um, can we help them? Can we do something about that? And uh, again, they didn't come out and say that's why they did this, but um, I'm hoping that that is why, because it fits perfectly into what you folks have requested. Many of you said if it was cheaper, I would try it. Here's your chance. Uh, I don't know how long we're going to make it. I don't know how much of it we're going to be able to get. I'd like to think it will become a, uh, a long-time, uh, um, you know, uh, product. But uh, again, I, I have no control over that. Uh, Mike Fossil, my co-author, this is uh, someone writing in here about Mike, uh, Adrian. Uh, Mike Fossil, my co-author. My, my two co-authors, uh, Greta Blackburn and Mike Fossil uh, in the Immortal Immortality Edge. Uh, Mike's a great guy. I hope you get to hear him speak sometime. Mike Fossil mentioned a couple of times as of now that we need something like 50 times stronger than TA in order to stop reverse aging. What is your take on this? And can all these benefits be mentioned here reproduced in a larger human trial? I mean, becoming younger needs to be documented by all medical parameters. Can you organize a human trial? And uh, that would be really good. Um, there's a study, but it was terminated. Can you comment on that? Uh, I don't know about any termination of, of, of a trial, uh, Adrian. I, I will have to go look at that. Um, but you know, here's the thing. Um, yes, it would be wonderful to do a larger trial, um, but even those smaller trials that you see published there, uh, that costs two million dollars. Okay, so um, I have been trying to fund my own research for a long, long time. I've been trying to get investors to help me. And we've had some success, but the likelihood of a huge trial using TA65 uh, to document uh, that we're using uh, is probably not going to happen uh, anytime soon. I know there was a trial looking at telomere length, which is our ultimate arbiter at this point. Um, uh, that is in process. It may be another year till that data is out. That was a randomized double bonded placebo-controlled study. That study cost around $5 million to do, and that has 100 participants. So I, I know what you're asking. You want proof. Right? You want proof, damn it. Um, and uh, here's the truth, OK? I don't think TA65 is going to help every single person that takes it. Uh, I think it's going to help a lot more people than it won't. Uh, and Mike is correct. It would be great to have something, I wouldn't say 50 times longer, and I'll tell you what, because you know, I hang out with Maria Blasco. There is an upper limit right now. Is telomerase dangerous? Does it cause cancer? That was another question. No, no, no. It doesn't do that, especially at this level. Uh, telomerase is, is kind of an innocent bystander that gets hijacked by cancer. And by the way, I see we're over time. I hope you folks don't mind. I'll stay here until till the questions are answered. Um, but the bottom line is that um, the safest level of, high, of telomerase activation uh, is unknown. Uh, Maria, in her studies where she was able to extend the lifespan of mice, used the AAV9 virus. Now, there's not too many human beings that are going to sign up for a viral infection. Uh, I'm actually on the list, believe it or not. But anyway, the AAV9 uh, is a non-integrating virus. It does not get into the uh, genome, as far as we know. Some of the AAVs do, so I'm rethinking that decision. But bottom line is, she was able to demonstrate a 10-plus fold increase in telomeres and no increase in cancer. Uh, and 25% uh, extension in lifespan in that model. Um, you know, easier to study mice than humans. So uh, we're doing what we can do. It takes a lot of money. And um, where we are also doing another trial, I should mention, is in our stem cell company. We're not using telomerase activators there. We're using stem cell uh, cytokines and stem cell transfusions. And we're using all the parameters that we know how. But tel telomere length, to me, is it. That's the major thing we're looking at. Um, let me see. Uh, do you color your hair or beard? No, I don't. Uh, they look darker. Yeah, that actually happened. Now, I still do have gray hair in both of them, just so you know. It probably doesn't show up as well in that picture, but um, yeah, uh, that happens. Uh, and I still have hair, <laughs> which is really cool since uh, my father was pretty much bald by this age, and most of the men in my family are. 
Uh, what do you personally take each day? I take six uh, Ultra 85. I take eight TA 65. I take four in the morning, four in the evening. Um, I take 400 milligrams of CoQ. I take Cardio Boost. I take the Monster Multi. And I've been taking Immune Boost lately because it's flu season. Um, and then I dabble with, with a lot of other stuff. I'm fooling around with some mitochondrial supplements. I take Regenerizer on a daily basis as well. Those are the main things that I do. What do I feel is the best diet for longevity? Any diet that man manages insulin, okay, and manages inflammation. So a diet that is rich in omega-3s to the point where it blunts the effects of any omega-6s. And this is for you vegans, vegetarians. You guys have abysmally low omega-3s because, you know, you don't eat any sources of, of marine omega-3s and the algal-based stuff isn't there yet in terms of providing you with what you need. So you're kind of stuck with fish oil. You can take the E. coli-derived stuff, which has uh, EPA, DHA, and is a non-animal product, but it's a recombinant uh, GMO. You know, they stuck a gene in, in the E. coli. So you got a lot of vegans, vegetarians aren't comfortable with that technology. So you know, it's six and one half dozen the other. Uh, but uh, for me, it's a ketogenic diet. Uh, that what seemed to be uh, burns fat the most effectively for me. I think that uh, some form of intermittent calorie restriction is useful uh, at disease fighting, uh, maybe not longevity, but disease fighting. What is the best time to take them uh, with or without food? This is TA65 again. <clears throat> do I recommend intermittent fasting? Yes, I do, actually. Um, TA65, uh, if you're taking more than two a day, I would say split the dose morning and evening and take it on an empty stomach if you can. If you forget, just take it, but it's probably better absorbed uh, on an empty stomach. What about actual fasting? How long and how often? Um, I don't personally actually fast. I go uh, 300 calories a day for seven to nine days, and I do that every four months. Uh, if you're going to fast, I think you can get into ketosis and get the benefits within three days. Uh, water fast is, is fine, three days of water fasting. Um, and I think that will be enough to kill cancer cells. Uh, Five-day water only? Sure. Uh, is this being recorded? Yes. <laughs> so if you're having connectivity problems, hopefully you'll be able to catch the recording. Uh, are you familiar with, and would you please comment on Dr. Robert R R Rowan's ozone oxygen therapy? Um, let me get back to that. Uh, does Ray Kurzweil take TA65, uh, and why does TA65 cost so much? Uh, I I'm sorry, I don't have control of the cost of TA65. It has to do with how it's harvested. Uh, there's only a small amount of the plants they, they harvest that actually have it. It takes four tons of astragalus. Uh, a specific astragalus found in a specific area of China to make a bottle of TA65. I'm presuming that's why it's so expensive. Uh, does Ray Kurzweil take it? Uh, I don't know that. Uh, and if I did, I couldn't tell you. Uh, ozone oxygen therapy. Uh, I think there's oversimplifications that are going on here, okay? Um, you know, there are, I, I think that hyperbaric oxygen is a very useful therapy for cancer when coupled with a ketogenic diet. And, and I don't know the, the doctor that you're talking about. Uh, so if he's talking about hyperbaric oxygen, yes. Uh, ozone itself, I, I don't know. I, I just don't know about ozone. A lot of people are very uh, happy with it, but um, here's the problem is, you know, we don't really know what causes cancer. Uh, Dr. Seyfried and I feel that it's primarily a mitochondrial respiratory defect. Until you reset that, um, you, you can't get rid of cancer, you can't control cancer, you can't prevent cancer. Um, and, and, you know, anything that is toxic to the, the cancer cell, which includes hyperbaric oxygen and ketone bodies, is a beneficial therapy. So I'm not really familiar with the doctor you mentioned, but it, it sounds like they're on the right track, and certainly hyperbaric oxygen has been uh, uh, documented as having a lot of benefits. <clears throat> Now, getting a lifelike test requires a doctor to order it. Do you do that for your customers? I wish I could. I really do. But uh, licenses are handed out, well, not handed out, are granted state by state. So um, uh, have you gathered any information from people on their two weeks of not taking TA65 every month? Um, I'm not sure what that means. I'm sorry, uh, Daryl. Uh, I apologize. I, I don't understand that question. What do I think of product B? No comment. Are you speaking any other? optometry at conferences. Missed you the last time. I'd love to. That was a blast. Do you run with Bill Andrews? I have. Um, what are the benefits of Ultra 85 over regular fish oil? It's more potent. Uh, it's just more potent. Uh, do I do the ketogenic diet year-round? Yes. Um, 
and so far uh, it's coming up on one year. So that's everybody's questions. Just a couple of uh, other housekeeping issues. Once again, we're offering a 10% discount um, on everything uh, that you would uh, buy until midnight tonight, midnight Eastern Standard Time. Uh, that link, Patrick William, you can put that up there as well. It's uh, telecon1120. Um, that's T E L E C O N 1120. That's the coupon code that when you check out, you introduce that. We have the low dose uh, TA65. We have 10% off of everything and free shipping in the continental United States. I'm sorry, in the United States, including Alaska and Hawaii. Um, <clears throat> You heard about the new Lodos TA65. The link is up there. One other thing. Uh, I really enjoy these. I hope you really enjoy these, and I would, I would enjoy your feedback. Uh, we are toying with the idea, and probably we'll go ahead and do this, of creating a tele-seminar series. Uh, it will cost something, but it won't cost a lot. It'll probably be between 20 and 30 bucks a month. We would probably have 12 a year plus bonuses. I've already got guests lined up, so I'm already you know, half the way there. Um, you know, uh, Barry Sears probably would be one to be on. I know Tom Safery would, would do it. David Wolf, my good buddy David, uh, will, will be on for sure. Um, you know, uh, Connie Soule, the, the uh, metabolic experts, uh, will be on. Uh, Pat, do we have a slide of me with the with the uh, with the uh, red uh, mask thing? On? Is that on there anywhere? Can we quick jump to that one? But somebody asked about uh, staying fit. Okay, so. I do this as well. I get metabolically tested. I get my lactate threshold and VO2 max tested. And one of the things about the ketogenic diet I can tell you is it pushes your, your crossover point. My uh, threshold is now 92% of my maximum heart rate. This is a good way to assess how really fit you are, along with strength parameters and uh, other things. But uh, Connie does this testing. Uh, uh, she does it at the uh, IHP, the Institute of Human Performance. There are probably other places you can get it done, but uh, IHP is owned and run by my dear friend Juan Carlos Santana, not the guitar player with the fitness guru. We'll have him on. So let us know what you think about having a series of these, because it's been a blast having, having you on. Uh, and Pat, you can go back to those uh, series of um, things, um, <clears throat> the links if you would. Um, there's a couple of other questions. Uh, about hormone therapy here, uh, PSA started to rise on uh, bioidentical testosterone cream. Uh, yeah, try try the injections and uh, see if your physician would be willing to put you on a DHT blocker uh, like once a week, uh, uh, Proscar, uh, and some Arimidex. Um, these are pretty much standard. Not everybody believes them anymore, but I think that uh, any side effects associated with those blockers can be minimized, uh, and they have such long half-lives, once a week is plenty for that. Okay, last chance, any questions? Anybody want to bring anything up before we sign out? And um, thank you all very much. Once again, God bless you, and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for being part of Dr. Day's Best. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.